Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to work with uh, VNet peering. Uh, now VNet peering is a concept in which uh, we can connect two virtual networks uh, together uh, uh, that are sitting in two different regions. Uh, so within the actually within the same region we can use uh, VNet peering in order to connect to the network. Uh, so uh, what we're going to do in the lab, so we already have uh, this uh, V network uh, uh, with the address page 10.0.0.0 uh, created so we are I'm going to create another virtual network in the same region and uh, then we're going to apply peering between the two uh, between the two two networks so we already have a VM in one of the in both of the subnets inside virtual network one and we're going to create another VM and the VM should be able to ping each other by using VNet peering so uh, what we need to do is first of all I'm going to go into virtual network and within a virtual network I am going to create a new a new um, virtual network so one so this one is IT prod and I'm gonna create another one uh, let's say HR prod so this is HR prod and then uh, the address space should be uh, should should be separate should be uh, sh should be uh, not similar to the one that we use for it prod it prod or 10.0.0.0 it should be definitely different from uh, it prod if it if if you can change it to if you use the same address page then you won't be able to peer uh, with uh, the other uh, vnet so make sure the address page is different from the one that you want to peer and um, we're going to use the same resource group it will be in the same region and uh, one subnet that it's gonna have it will be a default subnet so create it will validate and should be able to finish in few seconds it's done and it is deploying now so <coughs> so what we need is I'm gonna need another uh, virtual machine so let me create a new virtual machine here uh, so that actually virtual machine so that I so we can test the pinging between the two servers and the virtual machine will be uh, let's say HR server so I'm gonna call this HR server uh, so the VNet is created I'm gonna call this um, HR server 1 and it will be in the same region so and it will be a Windows VM uh, so I'm gonna select server 2012 with the uh, one vCPU I'm gonna choose we can type a username and password I've already uh, I, I always use uh, this username and password because I keep a copy uh, within a notepad so password and we are going to need port 80 and this will be configured on uh, this will be configured or we can also install IES no it's fine uh, we can just go to next nothing special but in networking we need it to be in HR prod and in the default subnet so it will be in a different VNet uh, we can choose IT prod so this will be in HR prod and nothing uh, else needs to be changed on this VM so it is validated and create so it will take few minutes while it is created in the meantime we can create a peer so we can go into virtual networks and first of all I'm gonna go into so 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 we are going to go into virtual network IT prod so <clears throat> let's go into HR prod and let's go into peering so peering means that VMs in that other subnet in that other VNet should be able to reach out or ping the subnets inside the other virtual and in, inside the IT prod uh, virtual network so in this we're gonna create another 
appear so this will be from HR prod to IT so I'm gonna say HR to IT pairing copy and it will be the resource uh, resource manager and uh, pay as you go subscription and virtual network will be it will be so I am in Asia prod so I'm gonna select I'm gonna select IT prod and here we don't need to change anything so here the name begins with a letter or a number Oh, I think the hyphen does not work. Or most probably it will be HR IT pairing. Yeah, so small letters. So we created a peer from HR and we're gonna do the same thing from IT side as well. So we can go into pairing and and this will be IT HR pairing. And this time we're gonna select HR and okay. So the peer is created. So which means the connection between the two uh, two networks is created and now uh, what I'm waiting for is the VM to be created so VM is being created it is being deployed right here uh, actually actually this one so the VM is being deployed it will take uh, I think few minutes so I'm gonna pause the video and come back to this and all we need to do is to test our connection so we can go to uh, one of the servers I can open one of the servers here and uh, the IP we also need an IP address so the IP address for HR server HR server is not ready yet so most probably it will be 10.0.0.4 and uh, so I'm gonna connect to one of the servers here web server 1 and connect so from here I'm gonna connect to you can save it and then connect actually I'm using the one of the older links and it does ask for username and password and it gets us connected so here and what I'm gonna do is uh, wow security there was security in the background sorry about that and I'm gonna go to CMD and try to ping server is not ready yet so i will ping the server is not pinging because the server is not ready once the server is ready then we will be able to ping so i'm gonna go to okay resource is deployed and so hr server is ready so i'm gonna connect to the hr server and let's see the ip address for this server so the public IP address is this but what we are pinging is the private IP address so this is 10.1.0.4 and uh, 338 3389x access is required and sometime avoid it will take few more ex uh, it, it takes uh, a little bit more in in actually setting the server is just ready now and in the meantime what we'll do is we'll connect to the server Uh, so now the server HR server is ready uh, now what is the situation situation is uh, I have three web servers two vnets 
so if i go to all resources i can go by uh, the type i can see uh, i can see basically we are interested in three virtual servers so three virtual server hr is sitting in virtual network uh, one in virtual network uh, hr prod and th these two are sitting in id prod so we should be able to ping between each other so let's go to the uh, first one so i am on uh, i am on app server so this is the app server app server is able to ping uh, basically the uh, the web server and if i go to the web server i checked the web server is able to ping the web server is was not able to uh, ping before but it, it's able to so be, both of these servers are able to ping but uh, make sure the firewalls are off so here uh, you can go into all of the servers and just make sure firewalls are off so as soon as the firewall is off on both actually all three servers so we should make sure so on this server firewall is off and I'm gonna also connect to I am going to connect to uh, HR server <coughs> HR server connect so connect to HR server and download RDP and So connecting okay uh, and I lost it actually it's right here so we can connect connect to HR server and download and we can basically save and connect so connect to HR server I will ask for the password so I'm gonna use the password and it is connected make sure firewalls are off so this is my HR server and HR server IP address is since the peering is on, uh, we can go to CMD on my HR server and ping. First of all, ping itself. So this is this is itself, the server itself. It is pinging itself, and now I'm going to ping the web server that is sitting on the other side, the other VNet. It is pinging and the third is the app server app server is one so here so it's pinging so it means that the peering is working just make sure that firewalls are off and uh, here just to show you uh, if I go to the web server and you go to the networking it does show you the private IP address private IP address of web server is this and the private IP address of app server is 10.1 and it is pinging so this is how we can uh, configure peering between the two virtual network in the same region thank you for watching this video